Sometimes you just got to do that. All right. Now I've got the railings, the airlines, the trap doors on there, the brake lines, that's on there. Okay. I've got the brake cylinders on here. All right, uh, we're good to go with that. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the walkway on. Uh, and this is where you got to be a little bit careful because then I'm going to be putting the railings on here. Uh, so uh, want to make sure that while we're doing this because you're going to secure the top of the railings here to the walkway they're going to put on there so that's why I put the walkway on next I and mean, I probably could wait until last but uh, they kind of uh, hold each other together here uh, so um, the base and the railing hold the walkway in place so that's why I'm doing that <sighs> let's go cut this out And my oh my, time's fun when you're having flies. I'm starting to get low on tape. Oh my, so I'm gonna have to switch to another tape here soon as I cut this off. And this is really, this is really delicate here. So this is where having a sharp blade is of the essence and this may be getting a little bit dull because it's not cutting this too well uh, I think this may be getting end towards the end of its useful life for doing fine modeling oops I'll go ahead and get this out of the way oh there we go beauty all right let me go ahead get this off here like that all right I think we're about there yeah that's all there is to it yeah got our walkway cut off there we go and this is fairly straightforward to attach. You've got these little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, I guess these would be the walkway supports. You see them out there, so I'm just going to glue the walkway to the top of these supports. Lay it down flat, like that. <coughs> Make sure this is centered in the way, the way you know that this is centered is that you have these, uh, hopefully you can see it here, this is a little bit wider right there. I don't know if you can notice that compared to the other parts of the grill here, that's wider. Well, it kind of corresponds to this uh, support right here, that's wider. So you match them up and you uh, secure them onto these wider supports and that's how you center, um, the, center the walkway. Now you want to make sure that uh, you have these holes here uh, for grab irons. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on YouTube, but there's these holes here on grab irons. So you want to make sure your walkway is flipped correctly so that the ladder will match up with the grab iron holes. So I'm going to have to flip this around because we want to make sure this is going to match up correctly. And let me do this for the other side. This is the uh, grab iron for the other way. For the other side of the car. Uh, yeah, it looks like they match up correctly. So I have this on right. So, here I think I'm ready to glue this in place. And again, I've got this all matched up and lined up correctly. So this will, uh, uh, this should work. All right. Let me put a little in there and I'll start from the center and work my way out. Just kind of dab a little bit along the sides there. Just on top and let it run around the grate. So. 
Okay, and do that for the other side as well. Now this is where I want to make sure that uh, these are all firmly glued, so I'm just going to put my fingers on there for a little bit to make sure this is uh, lying down flat and uh, it will be secured in place once this stuff sets. And that takes a few seconds to do, so, so I start from the middle, work my way out. And there. So I'll go ahead and uh, just work my way out like that and get this secured in place. So uh, uh, let me go ahead and do that and uh, get this all completely glued. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, I thought I'd go ahead and show you a little bit uh, how I'm gluing this in place. I got the center part glued. I'm holding this down with my fingers and uh, I'm running putting a little glue right underneath the support in the grill just like that. Now let me turn this a little bit this way so you can see just along each one to hold it in place just like that. There. So I'm going to do that up and down the entire length of uh, the walkway. And that should be okay now. Move on down towards the other end. And uh, do the same thing. Just like that. Just a little bit to hold it in place. Don't need a whole lot in this situation, just a little dab. And you want to try to be careful not to get this stuff on your fingers. Because if you get the glue on your fingers and you touch the model, it'll melt the plastic underneath your fingers and you'll leave a fingerprint in your model. And that just doesn't look too terribly cool. So you want to you know, try not to overdo it how much you apply. Let me go around the other side. Do that real quick. Just pull it on lightly because this is a fairly flexible part here. Doesn't need a lot of pressure. Just there, just run it quick, just like that. Okay, let's move on down this way. Alright, hold it like that. And just run it underneath a little bit, like a little bit there, a little bit there. Lift the fingers off so you don't get any on your fingers. And that's all there is to it. That's how we get the walkway glued onto the top here. I'm going to go and uh, start cutting out the... Oh boy, I've got to get my nomenclature straightened out, what I call these things. Um, the railings, the stairs, um, glued on. I'll start with one side here. This will just fit in there just nicely. Once I get this all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and switch these blades out because this one is starting to show signs that it's getting dull. I didn't like the way it cut the last time, so go ahead and uh, swap a new one. Uh, I'm still going to keep that old blade because it's still reasonably sharp for other purposes. Oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, okay, now I'm tightening it up. I thought it was uh, taking it off. All right. Um, when you cut parts out like this, you don't want to lay it down on your table. For example, I don't want to lay it down like that with the ladder facing down. That's delicate. That can break off. You want to go um, lay this down flat uh, in a way where it applies the least pressure to the part you're trying to cut out. So I'm going to lay it down on its back like that and start cutting away like that. Again, if you have a sharp knife, you're not going to need a lot of pressure. And don't be too stressed out if this if your plastic, your part bends a little bit, because it will have a little bit of give to it, but uh, like I say, having a sharp knife, using a sharp knife is absolutely critical in getting these parts out, so 